Hello everyone, this is Sen from Sen Invest, and today I'll be going over my five secrets to success with the Bitsgap trading platform. Here in my Bitsgap account, you can see I currently have five different robots deployed trading various cryptocurrencies against US dollars or USD backed stablecoin. My five secrets to success are based on my experience using Bitsgap since last summer. Let's begin. First, trade coins you believe in. What do I mean by that? I mean that you should believe that the coin that you're trading has potential for long-term value and has use cases in the real world, ideally. Now, for me, one of those coins is Bitcoin. I first bought Bitcoin in 2019, and last year I came to see Bitcoin as another type of money, as a store of value, a digital gold, shall we say. Now, to get some ideas of which coins might be good candidates, we can jump over to CoinGecko. CoinGecko shows cryptocurrency prices by market cap. And so if you pick a coin within, say, the top 10 or maybe 20 coins, then that coin is going to have some serious traction in the marketplace. You can see the market cap here is in the, is in the billions. So one thing that should be noted is that there are some stable coins such as Tether and USD coin in the top 10 or 20. We should be looking for coins that are not stable coins, but rather are established uh, cryptocurrencies. So let's move on to number two. This is select coins with sufficient volatility. Now, volatility might sound scary to a lot of traders, but volatility is actually useful when you're trading cryptocurrency. Indeed, it's useful in a lot of markets. As Anton Creel said, for short-term traders, we need to embrace volatility. Let's look at some measures of volatility that might be useful to us. Here, I am on the TradingView platform. I'm currently looking at Bitcoin with a one-month time frame. Now, this ATR here, this is called the average true range. So if we were to look up here in indicators and I were to type in ATR, you would find average true range. We can click here on the question mark to get a better idea of what this indicator shows us. It's used in technical analysis to measure volatility. My next indicator here is the historical volatility indicator. So if we go to indicators again and I search for HV, we can see it. I get historical volatility. We bring it up, and it tells us historical volatility is a statistical measure used to analyze the general dispersion of the security or market index returns for a specified period of time. What are we looking for here with these indicators? So for the ATR indicator, we'll see that it spends a lot of time in the middle third to lower third of the range. It does have a few peaks here which you can see on the chart above also correspond to spikes in the market. But it's really spending a lot of time in the middle to lower third here. And the, the, also for the historical volatility, it's, it's actually not really going very high. Let's look at another coin pair. I'm going to look for Pax Gold, which is one of the uh, one of the coins that I'm trading. This is a gold-backed crypto. So for Pax Gold, you'll see that it really spends a lot of time in in the lower third of the chart windows here for both the ATR and the HV. So that means that volatility of Pax Gold token is not really that high. My final example here that I'd like to show you is Solana. Solana has done very well for me over the past couple of months in trading. Here, we can see with Solana, it's quite different for both the ATR and the HV. We can see that it's spending much more time in the middle and upper thirds of the charts for these indicators. So this, so this shows us that Solana is actually more volatile than BTC or Pax Gold. I can show you how that translates to what we have on the charts. 
So let's go to my PAX Gold here. So I deployed PAX Gold at the beginning of April, but you can see there really aren't that many transactions and there's been very little profit. It's actually the least profitable of all my bots here, which I would attribute to the volatility being lower. This brings us to number three, which is run your trading operations like a business. So what do we mean here? I mean that it's very important to track your expenditures. So let's take a look at this in my spreadsheet. Here, you could see I kept track of which coins I ran robots on last month as well as the coins that I'm running robots on this month. My profits for last month were $108. Uh, dollars. So after we take away the bits gap, uh, trading platform fee, and the trade fees which are paid to the exchange, I'm left with profits of $55. So here, I'm running my bots with the minimal required capital for the given settings. Now, I would obviously make more money if I deployed more capital. But this goes to show that you can still make profits even when deploying the minimum required capital for a given setting. Number four is gradually accumulate coins you wish to trade before deploying the bot. So over this month, I'm going to be looking at coins that I might be interested in trading next month. Again, that's subject to meeting the second condition, which is sufficient volatility. Now, my strategy for preparing to set up a bot is to first accumulate those coins slowly, maybe over several weeks' time. Why do this? It's because I generally would get a better price using dollar cost averaging, and also when I'm using limit orders instead of market orders, uh, that can also give me a better price as well. So you're going to get better prices when you deploy your bots because you won't be having to buy or sell when you actually deploy them. So finally, number five here is focus on your profits in the quote coin, not fluctuations in the base coin. Here on my Bitscap account, you can see that I'm in the red. My total uh, sum here of profit and loss is negative $40. And indeed, three of my bots are in the red. That's because the base currency, which is the left-hand side here, has gone down in value. The market has had a retracement over the past few days. However, the bot profits are all in green. These are the profits which are taken in the quote currency here, which is BUSD or USD. So my advice would be to look at the bot profits when you're gauging the success of your trading strategy. Don't look at just the change in value since the bot has been deployed, because some of that is due to fluctuations in the market, which is independent of the bot. So, why can I say number five with so much confidence? It's because if you go back to number one here, which is trade coins you believe in, then it shouldn't be such a big deal for you if the coin that you're trading declines in value relative to USD or another stable coin. So it's kind of like being a diehard fan of a sports team. And that sports team is not going to win every season. They're going to have losing streaks, maybe really long losing streaks. But you're going to Continue being a diehard fan because you believe that one day they're going to win the championship. So it's the same here with trading. If you select coins that you truly believe in, it shouldn't be a cause for panic if you see them go down in value from time to time because you believe that in the long run they're going to increase in value. Let's go now into my special offer that I have for you. This is a free training offer on how to use the Bitsgap trading platform. Here are the steps. First, Sign up for a Bitscap 7-day free trial using my affiliate link, which I've provided below in the description for this video. You'll get 7 days to use Bitscap Pro trading. Number 2. Use the trial period to experiment with different settings and deploy demo bots. I recommend using demo bots, especially if you're new to the Bitscap trading platform. It's kind of like a paper trading account where you can trade without risk. You're not using real money. This is also a great time to write down any questions that you might have for your upcoming training sessions. You can also evaluate the Bitscap plat trading platform and see if it's right for you. Third, you've decided to purchase Bitscap. Congratulations! So if you sign up for a one month pro plan or six months of any plan, you qualify for the free training. Next, contact me at sen at seninvest.com 
with your sign-up email address. Please note, training is offered for sign-ups to the following plans only. The one-month pro plan sign-up gets you one session of 60 minutes. The six-month basic plan sign-up gets you one session of 60 minutes. The six-month advanced plan sign-up gets you two sessions of 60 minutes, and the six-month pro plan gets you four sessions of 60 minutes. During that time, you can ask me any questions you might have about selecting coins, um, deploying bots, different bot settings, really anything related to using Bitscap. I'll be happy to help you. Now let's get into the pricing of Bitscap. So here is the pricing and features for the basic, advanced, and pro plans on the Bitscap trading platform. Now if you're still not sure whether Bitscap is right for you after the seven day free trial, I recommend going in for the one month plan. And then after one month, if you're satisfied, you can go in for the six month plan. The six month plan is great because it saves you quite a bit in fees. However, you should be aware that you are paying up front. You should also be aware of Bitscap's refund policy. Here in the frequently asked questions, we see a question about refunds. It says that you can cancel your subscription at any time, but Bitscap does not issue refunds or credits for partial use of service or the amount of time left in your subscription. Please be aware of that when you're signing up for Bitscap. If you enjoyed today's video, please sign up to my channel using the link down below. I plan to release more videos on the Bitscap trading platform, giving more details on the five points that I discussed today. Subscribing will help you stay up to date on my latest content. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.